It was just such a mind-blowing performance. It was kind of the birth of EDM right there. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest live musical performances. For this list, we're looking at the best individual performances by artists in a live concert setting. As such, we won't be including the Pink Floyd Live at Pompeii concert movie since there wasn't an actual audience in attendance. We also won't be counting things like award show performances. Which of these concerts do you most wish you could have experienced live? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 20. The Rolling Stones at Madison Square Garden The Rolling Stones have performed at Madison Square Garden plenty of times, and their first performances there ensured they would always rock the house. Toward the end of their 1969 tour of America, the Stones performed three shows in two days at the famed New York City Arena, which had opened the previous year. Although the band hadn't toured the States in three years, the wait was more than worth it. Starting with a Thanksgiving Day concert, the Stones drew thousands eager to hear future classics like Jumpin' Jack Flash and Sympathy for the Devil. Reactions were outstanding, and the band ended the 60s on a high note and only went higher from there. We're guessing they got plenty of satisfaction from these concerts. Number 19. The Notorious B.I.G. at Summer Jam The Notorious B.I.G. is the definition of a rap icon, and his appearance at the second Summer Jam showed just how much charisma he had. At the New Jersey Festival, the New York legend performed first with R&B group Total and then delivered his own stunning set, dressed in a three-piece suit and more. It's gonna be a lot of slow singing, singing the flower bringing, if my birth of a lost starts ringing. Biggie was already a star at this point, but his Summer Jam performance was one that put him on another level. Years later, attendees speak about his performance like it was yesterday. When Biggie performed, it was all a dream. The entire arena went out of control. The King of New York claimed his crown once and for all in 1995. Number 18, Fleetwood Mac at Fleet Center. After decades of performing, it's hard for most artists to electrify the way they once did. That is not the case with Fleetwood Mac, who, after more than 30 years together, gave two sensational performances in two days. At Boston's appropriately named Fleet Center, now known as TD Garden, the band went through classics like Landslide and Go Your Own Way with as much passion as when they'd first recorded them. Concerts were immortalized in the Live in Boston album and DVD. There's been plenty of behind the scenes drama during Fleetwood Mac's run, but these performances show just how well they can work together. Number 17, James Brown at Boston Garden. Another legendary Boston performance came three and a half decades earlier from The Godfather of Soul. This free concert at the Boston Garden Arena was staged the day after Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in hopes of diminishing tensions. Though there was some disorder, Brown was able to get things back on track and helped to keep the peace and deliver an amazing concert. The three-hour performance was filled with classics like Please 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 and I Got You I Feel Good. <laughs> While unrest and violence have existed throughout history, we should never forget the power of music as a means of expression for both artists and audiences. Number 16, Janis Joplin at Monterey International Pop Festival. Janis Joplin's defining performance at the Monterey International Pop Festival technically wasn't her performance. It was for Big Brother and the Holding Company, of which she was a member. But she commanded the stage so much, it's remembered as her show. 
The blues rocker's powerhouse vocals and stage presence are scorching even when watching at home, and the audience is rightfully mesmerized. We also can't forget the role of Big Brother and the Holding Company in providing Joplin with their own first-rate musicianship. Joplin passed away a few years later, and this performance sadly reminds us of how much natural talent she possessed. Number 15, Metallica at Monsters in Moscow. What's your idea of a big concert crowd? 10,000? 100,000? Try a million. When Metallica and other notable bands performed at Moscow's Tushino Airfield in 1991, they reportedly drew as many as 1.6 million spectators. So repeat it with me! Die! 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 While an official headcount might not be possible, we can absolutely verify that this concert was one for the ages. Performing during the final months of the Soviet Union, the metal legends brought out headbanging hits like Fade to Black and the recently released Enter Sandman. The band is on another level, and the crowd absorbs their energy and sends it right back. Whether performing a raging set for more than a million people or with the San Francisco Symphony, there is no one quite like Metallica. Number 14, Michael Jackson at the Bucharest National Stadium. Michael Jackson was known as the king of pop, not only for his amazing singing and songwriting, but also for how he could command a crowd. There's no better example of this than this sold-out concert at Bucharest National Stadium in Romania. Jackson was closing out the European section of his blockbuster Dangerous World Tour, which significantly raised the bar for elaborate staging. And while not everyone got a ticket, millions around the world were able to watch it from home. This set a new record for cable TV ratings. Can you think of any pop star who has that kind of pull today? <laughs> Neither can we. Number 13. Daft Punk at Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. Who would have thought it would take two robots to make everyone feel human? In 2006, famed French house duo Daft Punk made the Sahara dance set the place to be at that year's festival. While they weren't headlining, this performance was so good it became the stuff of legend. In the packed tent, the duo gave their grooviest hits even more bounce through seamless blending and clever remixing ideas. If you had heard of Daft Punk before, this was your chance to hear your old favorites with a fresh spin. And if you were completely new to them, well, there's no way you weren't walking away a fan. And you're like, they are aliens. They are not from planet Earth. Number 12, Radiohead at the Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival. Radiohead is one of those bands that you owe it to yourself to see. But if you got the chance to see them at Bonnaroo in 2006, consider yourself extremely fortunate. English art rockers delivered a set full of incredible songs, both old and yet to be released. Not only
only did fans get to hear amazing live versions of classic songs like There There and Paranoid Android, but they also got to hear songs from In Rainbows a year before it was out. Guitarist Johnny Greenwood has referred to the show as being his favorite American festival experience. And frontman Tom York has also sung its praises. An awesome Radiohead show? No surprises. Number 11. Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg at Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival Coachella tends to be full of surprises, but no one could have predicted what would happen during Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg's headlining set. The West Coast hip-hop legends performed hits like Nothing But A G-Thang in the next episode with the same energy as in the 90s. One, two, they also brought out numerous all-star guests to perform some of their own biggest hits, including 50 Cent, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, oh, and Tupac Shakur. A hologram projection of the late rapper brought his presence to Coachella and turned an already great show into a classic one. Number 10. Prince at Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival Attendees of the 2008 Coachella Festival had even more reason to celebrate when a surprise headliner was announced, a rock star by the name of Prince. Buzz about a possible Prince Coachella performance had been circulating for years, but a dream became a reality with this performance, which got everyone talking. Not only did Prince provide sensational renditions of songs from his own catalog, but he also performed brilliant covers of songs from artists like Radiohead, The Beatles, and the B-52s. There wasn't any kind of song that Prince couldn't make into his own, and there will never be another artist quite like him. Number 9. Bruce Springsteen at the Parc de la Courneuve with his Born in the USA tour, Bruce Springsteen went from being the next great rock star to one of the best rock stars, period. With more than 100 shows all over the world, he kept the energy going every single night. And his newly toned physique was surely a boost in that regard, too. We have to give the best of this tour to his first of two dates at Paris's Parc de la Courneuve. We went down to the river, into the river we died. Oh. Springsteen and the E Street Band both performed at the top of their game, and the crowd was absolutely ecstatic, as were we. All right. With this performance, you should understand exactly why they call him the boss. Number 8. U2 at Koshevo Stadium U2 is as known for spreading awareness as they are for making music. And they made quite a statement when they became the first internationally known act to perform a concert in Sarajevo following the end of the Bosnian War. <laughs> Though the war had ended a couple of years prior, memories of the tragedies lingered, and it was uncertain whether a big concert like this could be pulled off. However, Bono and company were more than up to the task. Anthems like Sunday Bloody Sunday and Pride in the Name of Love became even more epic thanks to crowd sing-alongs, and they performed a stunning version of Miss Sarajevo for the encore. The region was still healing, but this concert helped to maintain hope. Number 7. The Who at the Isle of Wight Festival any band can produce an album. It takes some serious dedication to be able to execute an entire opera, which is exactly what The Who did with Tommy. Performing for the second consecutive time at this festival on England's Isle of Wight, the band's ambition paid off. We 
Not only were fans thrilled to hear standouts from Tommy like Pinball Wizard, but they also got other knockouts like My Generation and Substitute, as well as some outstanding covers. Can we have This concert was thankfully preserved as both a live album and a concert film. So, even if you weren't there, you can still feel like you were. Number 6. Nirvana at the Reading Festival Anyone who doubted whether Nirvana was the real deal was set right by this performance. The grunge legends headlined England's Reading Festival and showed just how much the musical landscape had changed for the better with the minute. Though they had performed at the fest the previous year, their star had skyrocketed since the release of Nevermind, and this performance proved the hype was worth it. As with their MTV Unplugged performance, Come as you are, as you were. Kurt Cobain proved why he was such a revered figure, and every version of every song here sounds fantastic. And the band showed a great sense of humor, starting off Smells Like Teen Spirit by playing Boston's More Than a Feeling. It wasn't just a feeling, Nirvana really was that good. Number 5. Beyoncé at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival Coachella, y'all ready? Beyoncé fans were disappointed when the pop icon had to cancel her headlining performance at the 2017 Coachella Festival due to her pregnancy. While she had performed at Glastonbury Festival in 2011 while eight weeks pregnant, <laughs> the risk was just too great this time around. However, she did appear at the following year's fest, and she absolutely showed out. With powerhouse performances of songs throughout her catalog, including several with her famed group Destiny's Child, Beyoncé showed exactly why she's known as Queen Bee. And there were incredible outfits, choreography, and unbelievable energy all around. Beachella was a night to remember. And while there have been plenty of great shows throughout its years, this is arguably Coachella's single best show. Number 4. The Beatles at Shea Stadium we all know that the Beatles are beloved, but if you want an idea of just how intense this fandom was, watch footage of them playing at Shea Stadium in Queens. The Fab Four kicked off their second US tour in truly spectacular fashion, and the crowd of more than 55,000 were so ecstatic, the band had trouble hearing themselves over the screaming. <laughs> But ever the professionals, they were still able to pull off a brilliant performance. While there are still bands around today who can pack stadiums, there aren't many who can inspire passion on the same level as the Beatles. Number 3. Led Zeppelin at the Royal Albert Hall There are some venues that are considered holy grails among musicians. London's Royal Albert Hall is one of them. Dating back to the Victorian era, this concert hall has hosted everything from ballet to opera to rock concerts. Specifically, it hosted Led Zeppelin at the prime of their career. On 
on tour for Led Zeppelin II, the band proved they were more than worthy of the hallowed space with their unrelenting energy and first-rate musicianship. This concert was preserved and remastered on DVD in 2003. With this concert, you'll see why the names Robert Plant and Jimmy Page are held in such high regard. Number 2. Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock Music and Art Fair Woodstock is one of those historic events that is as important as people say it is. And Jimi Hendrix's performance there is in an absolute class of its own. The guitar legend became a generational icon with his headline performance. So much about this performance has become part of pop culture lore. From Hendrix's fringed jacket and red bandana to his courageous rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. But Hendrix could perform any song in any outfit, and his genius would still shine through. With all due respect to anyone who's ever picked up an electric guitar since this performance, there's no topping Hendrix. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Guns N' Roses at T-Mobile Arena. The hard rock legends reunited in brilliant fashion. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Sex Pistols at the Lesser Free Trade Hall. One of the most important chapters in punk history. Elton John at Dodger Stadium. The legend gave a legendary performance, sequined uniform and all. <laughs> ACDC at River Plate. We will always salute this iconic band. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Queen at Live Aid Many renowned artists performed at Wembley Stadium for the Live Aid Benefit Concert in 1985, including David Bowie, The Who, and Paul McCartney. Mama, However, there's one performance that stands not only as the greatest of Live Aid, but also arguably the greatest performance in recorded musical history. Queen performed for a mere 21 minutes, but they did more with that time than most bands do with their entire careers. Every single moment, from Bohemian Rhapsody to We Are the Champions, was transcendent, and frontman Freddie Mercury and his white tank top shone brightest of all. The Queen legend lives on to this day, and this performance is a major reason why. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.